I will now draw my walls, my exterior walls, for this house. To do so, I'll come down and select this wall button, and then I'll open up my wall tools. And my very first tab is my exterior walls. The very first tool is the stud three and a half inch wall. If I select that button, my properties might pop up. And that's fine, and I'll deal with that in just a little bit. But the very first thing I'm going to do is hover over this corner, and you'll notice that a square is highlighted. That means that's the end point of the wall, and that's a part of my O snap. And if you need to turn that on, that's the square with the little uh, highlight in the top left corner, the object snap. And I'm just going to draw from one point to the next. And I'm zooming using my middle mouse button. If I hold it, I can pan. If I pull down on my middle mouse button, it zooms out. If I move it up, it zooms in. And so while I'm laying out my walls, I'll use my middle mouse wheel to actually use the navigation features. And to continue on, I can draw, select that tool again, and draw from one point to the next. And if I select, say, a point, and I select the wrong point, I'll select down here. And uh, that was a mistake. I can type in U, Enter, and it'll undo that last wall click. And so I'll continue on drawing the exterior stud wall of this house. And you'll see I'm ignoring the doors and the box window and other doors in this house because I'm going to insert those in later. I'm not start, stopping starting for those doors. And I will finish this out by selecting this point down here. And if I say select a wall, you'll see that it has several grips. Uh, we'll get to how these clean up when we draw our interior walls, but I can select, say, this triangle, and I can drag this wall down here, and I'll actually snap to that point and make it longer if I need to. If I wanted to, I can actually select this uh, square grip and move that, and then you can see that this wall gets longer and this gets shorter, and it's a nice way to move these walls, and they clean up nicely. And so I'll actually draw my brick wall around this house as well. So I will go to my masonry wall tab, and I will select this brick horizontal tool. And I'll start here just above my fireplace, and draw on the exact same interior stud line for my brick wall as my exterior stud wall. Again, I'm not stopping short for my windows or doors. I'm going to draw around my house from this point up to my porch area and I'm going to draw around that bump out there and then to this corner and to here.